I have some message for the next generation. They have to do something which they enjoy. If they like to solve puzzle, science is for them. I started to work with RNA in Hungary in the 1970s, 80s, and then thinking about that uh, more likely somebody has a disease which is not genetic, you just temporarily have to have a certain protein and then you just can deliver the mRNA and that produce it. So it was like a, a imagination, just uh, I was not sure about that it will work. Generating the mRNA based vaccine for COVID-19, it is just the beginning. And uh, now the pandemic put attention to the mRNA and then as a result of it, many different product is in development. Many of the vaccines, of course, because this is right now in the forefront for HIV, for uh, influenza, for uh, Epstein virus, herpes virus, and many others. And in addition, bacteria like tuberculosis or Borrelia, which cause Lyme disease, or a parasite like uh, malaria. Also, it is for cancer vaccines uh, is used and, uh, and many rare diseases. I hope that one day everybody will have their uh, genome and they know, okay, which kind of virus is that? And they can look at, oh, oh, my immune system is not good for that. But then they will run to get the vaccine. And that's actually uh, unbelievable. No limit what uh, usage the messenger RNA holds for the future therapeutics. Prior to uh, the Nobel Prize, I, I received more than 100 awards. It is about the three years. Prior to that, 40 years, I never get anything. And I also, you know, we recognize that approving a product, a biological product, is not enough. Society has to also accept. We have to educate the public, then they can make the right decision. That's why I'm here.